Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to fix sorting problems in iTunes. So it's important to remember there are different ways to view your songs in iTunes. You can view as lists, which is right here, and then you could sort by, say, song name, artist, or album. When you sort by album, you'll see all of the songs from one album together, even if the names of the artists are different. So, for instance, on the soundtrack here, you can see each song has a different artist, but the album name is the same, so it groups them together. However, if I were to switch to the album list here, then you can sort many different ways. Most usual is album by artist. And then you can see that each of these songs here is a separate album because it's by a different group. So it'll appear all over my music collection here um, in many different albums. So how do I get them all to be together in a single album? So one way would be to select each song individually, get info on it with Command I, and then set it to be part of a compilation. And if you do that for all the songs, it will know to group them together as a single album. But an easier way to do it will be to select all the songs. Let's do that by going to the list view again, sorting by album, so I can easily see what songs are there. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to do Command I to get info on them. It will ask me to confirm that I want to edit info for all of the different songs. And it will show me info that isn't common. So the album name isn't common here. The artists are different so it's blank. Now the album artist field is what we're looking for. So the album artist field is specially created to be able to group together different songs by different artists under one album and have them show up correctly when sorted. So I can select the album name and let me create the album artist and make it the same as the album name just for simplicity. Click OK. Now when I go back to view as album list I can see it has grouped together all the songs from that album even though they have different artists. Another thing you should know is if you select a song, do Command I, you can look at the info for it, but you can also look at sorting. And under sorting, you'll see some of those fields repeated. So you see the name and artist, album artist, all that on the left. On the right, you see alternatives for each of these for sorting only. So for instance, I could change the artist name and have something different over here but it would not affect the actual information in the song which is over here. It would only use this data over here for sorting purposes and this data over here for everything else. So another thing you should know about is the track number. So you can see here I have this album selected and in the track number column I have it all listed here tracks 1 through 13 of 13. You can edit these for any individual track if you want to change their order. Just get info on them under info. There's the track number field. And keep in mind you can always change what you see here in a list by simply going to view and then view options and it gives you the option to include or exclude all sorts of different columns from the listing here. So for instance I can add date added if I like and it will appear here on the right. You can see that rightmost column now is a list of dates. So there are some ways to fix sorting problems in iTunes. Hope you found it useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.